so guys back with another quick quick video nothing too crazy um we're gonna be upgrading our steering wheel from the one that we currently have so just real quick before we keep uh, moving on with the video um, this wasn't as a simple as process as we thought it was gonna be so if you plan on doing this mod definitely watch all the way through and then you'll see what i mean later on the video um it is not a direct bolt-on so if you just buy the steering wheel and try to replace it that's not going to work because the uh, fittings back here are a little different so what you need what you need is going to be the spline right here took it off a of cat eye um it's a pretty not too bad of a process but you are going to need uh specific tools for that you're going to need this exact tool kit right here you could um rent this at your local AutoZone, o'reilly's or whatever it is um, just because there's like a bunch of little pins in it because um, there's pins in the steering column that in order to take off you need um, like a specific tool that's in the kit so we're gonna go ahead and do that um, get that going so we'll go ahead and start by taking this steering wheel off for this style it is a little different than the cat eye steering wheel that one has just two pins on the side they just poke and come off these are going to be on the back side. Kind of have to go in from behind with a screwdriver or something and poke it in. And then it should get uh, the airbag off. Just like that. So you see it's going to be here, here, be here and here from behind. Kind of just poke your way through and then the airbag should just pop off. Now we'll go ahead and get that bolt off. I'll get the steering wheel off and then we can start uh, disassembling the rest of the column to get that spline out and go ahead and get the new one in. As you can see, sometimes it's gonna be a little tough to get off, but if you just bang it around, hit it around, it should come off. Uh, we had to fight that one a little bit, but it's all good. Now we'll go ahead and get this plastic off. So now to get the clock spring off, you have to go under, get this yellow wire unplugged from under that side, and then you'll be able to get that off. That's it, once you get enough slack from that wire, you don't have to take it all the way off. Just get enough slack, be able to slide it off. Now, once you get beyond this point, um, that's where you're gonna need to bring out the, uh, the handy dandy special tools. Power built. And then from here on, you're pretty much gonna need this kit. So tightening that's gonna allow this little little ring right here to pop on out. It's like a little spring clip that kind of holds it in place. So that slides down that allows this plate to move. And then that way you can get more into the internals and then where you're gonna need the rest of the tools. There you go, that plate now slides off. Now the rest that's gonna be holding is T25s and T30s. It's gonna be a few, the rest of it that's gonna be holding it in is gonna be a few T25 screws and T30 screws. So that's gonna reveal one of our bolts right here that we need mm -hmm. for that special tool. That's gonna kind of go screw in there, and then as you're screwing it in, it's gonna kind of just pop the bolts out. That's gonna be two of those on each side, or actually one on each side. So now to get the gear shifter off, you're gonna need to put it in park. Put that in park. Or 
or not in park in the uh, lowest position actually and then you'll be able to screw it off get that off and then you'll be able to get to the same bolt on the other side there you go should slide off just like that this guy is in the way sliding out the way get that rubber off and that should give us access to the rest of the bolts that we need to get off. And there will be a spring on the other side. We have to get off. There we go. And that comes on right on. Now you just kind of got to, you kind of just got to tug on it, pull on it a little bit. Also, when you're doing that, make sure your um, column is in the highest position so it comes out easier. And you just have a few more, was that T25 or 30? T30, these. And you got a few more T30 screws right there. Right there. In order to get the shifter plate off, it's gonna be three screws. Um, we had to take off this, uh, we had to take off this molding right here because there's one kind of hidden back here. So you can see it's gonna be three on this side. got that last bolt off now it's loose now it's loose and now we're able to get to that bolt right there so like i said one on each side so in order to get these off you're gonna need you're gonna need this little tool right here kind of screws in then as you screw it kind of just pops it out that just screws in right there and then with a little bit of tension it should pop out all right there you go as you can see that pops right on out so now we just got to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then we should be able to get that out All right, after getting those out, it should just slide on out now and then give you access to that spline. So this is the moment where we realized the uh, the steering shaft is a little different on the uh, on the bubble eyes, or at least on some bubble eyes. They say they're the same. If you look at the one I showed earlier from the cat eye, I guess it's like a 50-50 thing. You either have it or you don't. On mine, I had the blue sphere. Um, so that was a difference on this one. So definitely make sure which one you have before you do this mod. All right, guys, so after getting that out, we just came to our findings that these are two different types. Um, there's not many videos out there explaining, but on O2s or 99 to O2s, some are like this. Where you just swap it. Where you just, it's an easy swap. That's what we thought it was gonna be. We thought it was gonna be an easy swap. Just um, install this one basically, uh, bolt it on with those two bolts. As you can see, it's not that type. This is the one that came out of mine. Um, Mine's a, a 2000 Silverado, so we're not sure, you know, depending on the years, if um, they came with different ones or not. But I mean, at the end of the day, we could still make it work, at least we can, because we have a welder. Um, we could probably just cut it from one of these angles right here and then just weld that one on. So good to know if you plan on doing this. Um, with these older trucks, I guess it's 50 50. Either you'll have this style or this style. Only way to find out is by doing it. So in our case, we had this style. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Yep, so there you have it. So like I said, if you plan on doing this, um, I'd probably definitely go ahead and take yours apart first, check which style you have. Um, in my case, I didn't do that. I just took it apart. Um, thought it was gonna be this style, but yeah. So basically we're just gonna cut here, here, get it welded up and it should be, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, should be fine. Get that welded up and then just install this end again. See, got that first one off. You can see, just a nice little even cut. I'll go ahead and do that second one. 
and start welding it onto the side. So while that's being welded up, um, I'll go ahead and show you just like the main differences right here in the inside. Main difference with the column right here. So it's gonna be this piece right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can take this out, switch it out with the other one, but that's a whole nother process. So, I mean, for us, it's easier just to cut it up, weld it, and then just put that same one on. So, I mean, but if you don't have a welder and all the tools, then yeah, you're probably gonna have to switch out your column. There we have it though, that new piece welded up. You know, not the prettiest, but strong enough, it'll hold. It'll be good. So, but yeah, it'd be much easier if you guys could just find the, uh, or if that, if your truck has the other style, not this, this ball style, this plastic style, but double check before you do this to make sure what style your truck has. So, so for me, obviously the only way was to cut it up and weld it. Um, the other way is just to get a whole new, um, column, but that's extra work. So this was easier for me. So. Now we just gotta put it in, then put it all back together, and then I'll show you guys the new wheel. Now to get the little blue part back in, it's kind of a hassle. Um, it'll be easier if you lift up the truck. I got it lifted right now. Um, that'll allow you to turn, pivot that column, and then slide in the ball, which is a little easier if you if you shape it that way. There you go so we got it back in so now just gotta put everything back together get the new steering wheel on so we'll go ahead and do that and i'll show you guys putting the steering wheel on all right we got pretty much everything back together got a little tape holding this uh plastic just because the tabs are broken i'll figure out a way to fix that later but got all, all that back together now we just gotta throw this back in um as far as wiring it up we're probably gonna have to get a new clock spring later uh, one that matches the airbag because that one has two pins versus one pin for the, from the original. So the original only has one and then from the cat eye it's going to have two. So probably have to get a new clock spring later, but for now just bolt it up and then uh, just do that later. All right, there we go. Got that in. All good. So that's pretty much it. A few little tweaks. If you want to do this job, it's definitely going to be not the easiest. Yeah, well, if you got this style, it's not going to be the easiest. If you have the other style, um, without the blue ball on the end, it would be a much easier process. But there it is. Right there. There we go. Cleaned it up a little bit. Um, that shit looking clean though. Horn works, everything works. Um, it's just gonna be as far as lights, you're probably just gonna get one airbag light, just that. Um, until if you don't, if you don't wire it up like I did, I get a little airbag light right here. Um, until I get that new clock spring, or if you find that other airbag that has the one pin connection, they make a few. You could try find that at the junkyard or something. Um, for me, it'd probably be easier just to do the clock spring later. But uh, check it out, guys. The interior is looking solid. That shit clean as fuck in here. I just got to get my radio eventually. And then eventually I'm going to redo the whole interior. So I'm going to do all black everything. So stay tuned for that later. That's going to be later. There it is, though. We're looking good, looking clean. It fits with the plastic just fine. It rubs a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy. It'll be just fine. Makes like... No noises, no nothing. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, mi gente. Um, you guys know the deal, stay tuned. We got a lot of other shit coming up, uh, a lot of mods. Gonna get that dyno, gonna get this truck dyno soon. So stay tuned for that in a few weeks. And uh, see you on the next video, man.